Hello friends, in the previous lecture we saw small problems on UAV design and we discussed what will the tail setting angle, what will be the relative position of wing and tail and today also we will be continuing the same numerical, but today we will be looking at your elevator effectiveness. Now what is the significance of an elevator? As you know we saw yesterday that for an aircraft to be statically stable. Now, C m versus alpha or C m versus C l curve should have negative slope and it should have a positive C m naught. We calculated yesterday in order to trim an aircraft at particular C l what should be your tail setting angle if it is required. Now, suppose we want to trim your aircraft at a higher value, you can change the elevator setting and it will shift your C L trim to a higher value. So, this was for deflection of elevator that is 0 and this is for negative values. Similarly, for positive value your curve will shift in this direction. From this plot you can notice that the slope remains the same, slope will be same, but you can see there is a difference between C m naught or uh, pitching moment as well as lift changes when you use your uh, elevator control surface. Now, the change in lift due to elevator deflection is given as C l delta L equals to C l delta E into delta E, where C L delta E equals to change in lift coefficient by control surface deflection. In this case, this is elevator. We also know that lift coefficient C L equals to C L naught plus C L alpha into alpha and now this new term will be introduced. C L delta E into delta E. Similarly, due to elevator deflection, your pitching moment will also change. So, slope is same as you know, is same. So, changing pitching moment coefficient is C M delta E into delta E, where C m delta E equals to changing pitching moment coefficient by deflection of control surface that is elevator in this case. Now, this term C m delta E, this is known as your elevator control power. How effective is your control surface or uh, elevator? it is determined by this co aerodynamic coefficient. Now, the larger the value of C m delta E, you will have more control over your pitching moment and we have already seen that total pitching moment of an aircraft is given by C m naught plus C m alpha into alpha plus C m delta E into delta E. Now, this change in lift is given as change in lift which is given as change in lift equals to ratio of the tail area to your wing area into eta by change in lift due to elevator deflection, which is equal to S t upon S into eta d C l t by d delta E into 
delta E. Now, this term d c l t by d delta E, this can be written as change in lift coefficient of tail by change in angle of attack at tail into c d alpha t by d delta E. This you already know this is represented by C L alpha t and this you can represent by tau. Similarly, your increment in pitching moment coefficient is minus tail volume ratio eta into delta C L t. We have already seen C L delta t, what is the value of that? This term. So, we will replace that term here, which is equals to minus V h eta C eta D C L T by D delta E into delta E, which will give me C m delta E equals to minus V h eta C l alpha t into tau. Now, we have introduced a new term tau. Now, this value of tau is uh, taken from a graph, which is usually given, it is a design parameter. I am giving you that graph. This is value of tau and this is your control surface area divided by lifting surface area. That is, suppose this is your tail and this is your elevator or control surface. So, this value will be area of control surface that is represented by C area control surface and this is your whole area of tail. So, this will be represented by S t. So, this ratio is basically S C f by S t. Okay. Now, the value of tau versus control surface area by lifting surface area varies like this. So, for any control surface, whether it be your tail or aileron, you can basically calculate the value of tau, tau using this formula. You have to calculate what is the surface area and usually it is good to take tau value ranging from 0 0.45 to 0 0.6. So, suppose if I take tau equals to 0 0.5 and I already know what will be your tail surface area then I can calculate your control surface area, which is 0 0.5 into S t. Okay. Based on these all calculations now value uh, formula, which we have derived and the value of tau, we will be calculating what will be the delta E deflection in order to trim your aircraft at a higher value or desired value you can say. So, before that we have to find a relation between what will be the delta E trim required. So, elevator angle required to trim to 
factoring. As you know, in order to trim an aircraft, the resulting pitching moment should be 0 and we also know that pitching moment coefficient is given as C m equals to C m naught plus C m alpha into alpha, this is alpha trim plus C m delta E into delta E trim. From this equation, taking this term as 0, we will get delta E trim equals to minus of C m naught plus C m alpha into alpha trim whole divided by C m delta E. And we have another equation for lift coefficient that is C l trim is given by C l naught plus C l alpha into alpha trim plus C l delta E into delta E trim. This is equation 1. Three. From equation 3, we can calculate what will be the value of alpha trim, which will be alpha trim will be C L trim minus C L naught minus C L delta E into delta E trim all divided by C L alpha. Now, substituting this equation or value of alpha trim in equation 2, we will get substituting the value of alpha trim in equation 2 delta E trim equals to minus C m naught minus C m alpha into C l trim minus C l naught minus C l delta E into delta E trim, this divided by C l alpha whole divided by C m delta E. Now, rearranging the equation, we will get C L alpha trim equals to minus C M naught by C M delta E into C L alpha minus C M alpha C L trim minus C L naught. m alpha by c m delta e into c l alpha and plus c m alpha c l delta e into delta e trim by c m delta e into c l alpha. Now, rearranging this equation, C L delta trim 1 minus C m alpha into C L delta E by C m delta E into C L alpha equals to minus C m naught C L alpha minus C m alpha into C l trim minus C l naught all divided by C m delta E into C l alpha or 
delta a trim equals to delta trim into C m delta e into C l alpha minus C m alpha into C l delta e all divided by C m delta e into C l alpha equals to this value this and this will be cancelled and this from this we will get the value of delta e trim required which is equal to delta e trim which is equal to minus c m naught c l alpha minus c m alpha c l trim minus c l naught all divided by c l alpha into c m delta e minus c m alpha into c l delta e. Ah, this is the value of elevator angle deflection in order to trim your aircraft. Now, after derivation, what is the uh, trim angle, elevator angle required in order to trim? Now, we will be revisiting that numerical which we did yesterday. So, some of the values which we got from previous numerical were your C L alpha for wing was 4.94. Per radian, and the formula which we derive today that is Cm delta E is minus Vh eta Cl alpha T into tau Cl alpha T. Yesterday we derived or yesterday we calculated it was 4.21 per radian. Similarly, C L delta E we derived which was S T upon S eta C L alpha T into tau. We took V H equals to 0 0.7. So, substituting this value in this equation we will get 0 0.5 minus into eta we will take as 1, C L alpha t is 4.21 and tau let us take it as 0 0.5. We will get the value of minus 1.47. Similarly, for C L delta e, S t yesterday we derived S t was 0 0.14 meter square and S was 0 0.6875 meter square. Substituting these values 0 0.14, 0 0.6875 into eta we have taken 1. C L alpha t we have taken as 4.21 into tau 0 0.5, which will give me as 0 0.428. Now, C M alpha of aircraft will be C L alpha of wing into x C G bar minus x A C bar plus C m alpha of fuse, C m alpha of fuse large minus eta V h C l alpha t into 1 minus d epsilon by d alpha. We have already seen C l alpha of wing was 4. 
XCG we took at 0.185 meters, AC was 0.1207 meters and C was your mean atomic chord, it was 0 0.279. For simplification, we will take same alpha of fuse large as 0 and the value of d epsilon by d alpha we calculated in previous lecture was 0 0.346. Now, substituting this value, we will get C m alpha equals to 4.94 into 0 0.185 minus 0 0.1207 by 0 0.279 minus 1 into 0 0.7 into 4.21 into 1 minus 0 0.346, which will come around minus 0 0.7908. Now, we have calculated all the terms we require in order to calculate C L delta trim. We already know from yesterday that C M naught was 0 0.063. We, uh, for simplicity, we will calculate that instead of C L alpha, this is lift coefficient for whole aircraft, but will be for simplification, we will take it as C L alpha of wing. Okay. So, we have already seen, uh, we already know value of C m naught, C m alpha of wing, C m alpha we have calculated, C l, C l trim will take that condition at what uh, value of C l I have to trim the aircraft. I know value of C l naught, which was C l naught was 0 0.237, C m alpha, C m delta E we have calculated and C l delta E we have calculated. So, we have derived all the parameters. So, yesterday we have seen that we were to trim the aircraft at 0 0.657 and for that we calculated what was the value of C m naught at C l equals to 0 0.237 or alpha equals to 0. So, today I want to trim my aircraft somewhere here and what is that condition that is at minimum drag. For minimum drag, your C L should be under root of C D naught by k. I am assuming C D naught as 0 0.04, initially approximation as 0 0.04. Now, substituting this value, we will get E D naught into pi aspect ratio into E, since k is 1 by pi aspect ratio into E, we will get 0 0.04 into pi, aspect ratio was 9.09, .09. E we took as 0 0.8, that will be around 0 0.956. So, my new trim C L value is 0 0.956. So, I have to trim my aircraft as point at point 0.956 and in order to that, in order to do that, what will be the delta trim required? I have to calculate that and we have calculated all the parameters required to get that de deflection. Now, substituting this value, delta E trim equals to minus C m naught was 0 0.063 into C l alpha of wing was 4.94 minus C m alpha was minus 0 0.7908 into C l trim we have calculated as 0 0.956 minus C L naught is 0 0.237 
whole divided by CL alpha of wing as 4.94 into CM delta E we calculated as minus 1.47 minus CM alpha as 0 0.7908 into C L delta E was 0 0.428, which will be equal to minus 0 0.3112 plus 0 0.5685 divided by minus 7.262 plus 0 0.338 equals to 0 0.2573 divided by minus 0 0.924 equals to minus 0 0.037 radian. This much deflection or equals to minus 2.12 degree. So, that is a value of delta E trim required to trim my aircraft at C L equals to 9.56. Thank you, that is all for this lecture.